for joining us. Here we want to solve this problem. We are finding the value of x and y. And here let's represent let y be equal to kx, where k is a constant. Where k is constant. So from here, we now rewrite the equation we have since y equals to kx and we have x raised to power kx will now be equals to kx raised to power x. And uh, from there, let's take the square root on both sides. So square root of this side, that's square root of x raised to power kx equals to square root of kx then raised to power k so from here now we can rewrite square root as the same thing as raised to power 1 over 2 raised to power half so here now we can say this is x raised to power kx raised to power half then equals to kx raised to power x then raised to power half which is same thing as times half up here then from here we can write it again and say this will be when this multiply this power multiply this is x raised to power kx over 2 which is equals to this power to multiply here so this will give us kx raised to power x over 2 and from there we can apply one of the law of indices that is when we have a raised to power m then raised to power n we can say this you know multiply and this is a raised to power m n and which can also be written as a raised to power n then times m so we can switch what we have inside that is from here i can separate k and take x x over 2 outside so we have x raised to power k then raised to power x over 2 now which is now equals to the same thing here kx raised to power x over 2 then from there let's try to cancel the power and what we can use to cancel the power is multiplying both power with the reciprocal of this power which is now 2 over x so when i multiply both power with 2 over x i have this such that they cancel each other this cancel this this cancel this this cancel this so we are now left with so we are left with x raised to power k x raised to power k equals to kx then let's try to solve here and divide both sides by x when we divide both sides by x x have cancel x on this side we have x cancel out and k left on that side so we now have this side now we can apply law of indices that is when we have in division that is when we have a raised to power m divided by a raised to power n this can be written as a raised to power m minus n in this case the power of x here is 1 and we can write it as x raised to power k minus 1 which is now equals to k then here since i'm finding the value of x I want to find x in terms of k now we can try to remove this power of k minus 1 by multiplying both power with 1 over k minus 1 so multiplying both power with k 1 over k minus 1 rather so 1 over k minus 1 so this side 1 over k, k minus 1 we cancel k minus 1 and we are left with x which will be equal to k raised to power 1 over k minus 1. So this is 
the value of x in terms of k. Then from y equals to kx, let's get k as well. From y equals to kx, since we say y equals to kx, so put x now. Since you are getting x, let's substitute for x now. And this will become, this will now be y equals to k times k raised to power 1 over k minus 1. Also, this multiply the same power. This raised to power 1. We can sum the power now so that y will now be equals to k raised to power 1 plus 1 over k minus 1. And we can bring it together as 1 up. The SCM is k minus 1. So that this will now be y equals to k raised to power SCM k minus 1 up. Then we have k minus 1, then plus 1. So minus 1 plus 1 cancel out. And y will now be equals to up there, y will equals to k raised to power k over k minus 1. So we have the value of y as well in terms of k. Where k is a constant. k is a constant here. Now, let's try to check this. So checking with k equals to 3 since k is a constant. So if k equals to 3 now, from our x, that is, we got x equals to k raised to power 1 over k minus 1. So then we put k as 3 now. We now have x equals to 3 raised to power 1 over 3 minus 1. So this will now give us 3 raised to power 1 over 2, which is same thing as root 3. So we got x to be root 3. And also y will now be for k equals to 3, y that is, we have k raised to power k over k minus 1. So y will then give us, from here, y will give us 3 raised to power 3 over 3 minus 1, which is equal to 3 raised to power 3 over 2. And this is power, this is root. So when we now have this in form of that, we now have square root of, so y will now be square root of 3. Then raised to power 3. Now we can check whether this satisfies the equation given. That is, from our equation, we have x raised to power y equals to y raised to power x. Now let's test this from there. Since we got our x to be root 3 here, so we can substitute. That will be root 3. Then raised to power y, we got that to be root 3 raised to power 3 then equals to y that's root 3 raised to power 3 then raised to power x and x is root 3 so raised to power x that's raised to power root 3 so let's confirm if the right, left hand side is equal to the right hand side that means the solution is valid now let's check from here we can write square root of 3 as same thing as raised to power 1 over 2. So we can maintain this as root 3, raised to power 3, square root of 3 up here, that's 3 raised to power half, then times 3. So equals to here on this side as well, we can write root 3 here as 3 raised to power half. So that's root 3, raised to power 3, then times 3 raised to power half. So from here now, we can write this and say this will be, so this will be root 3 raised to power 3, then raised to power 3 over 2. So because this 3 multiply this out, we have 3 over 2. So equals to, this one gives us root 3 raised to power 3, then raised to power 3 over 2 as well. Don't forget this is raised to power. We have raised to power here. That is, is raised to power 3, then raised to power half. So we have raised to power, this multiplies each other, raised to power 3, half multiplied 3, that's 3 over 2. 
Then when you compare now, we see that what we have on the right and on the left hand side rather, on the left hand side is equals to just the same thing as what we have on the right hand side. Therefore, the solution that is in form of our constant k x equals to k raised to the power one over k minus one, and y equals to k raised to the power k over k minus one satisfy the problem we say thank you for joining us you can subscribe to this channel for more of our videos see you in the next class and bye for now